Yo, 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 another day in flatbed heaven. Man, I'm a little perspirated, man. A little perspirated. I left the, uh, I think, like I said, I was exhausted last night. I think my wife called me about seven. I, it took me, it took me so much time to just get up and just say, get out the truck and go get you something to eat, man. Just, just get out. And when you come, when you come back, you can lay down, you can do all that good stuff like that. So, I did that. <clears throat> Got something to eat. My wife called me about 7. I think I went to sleep probably about 8 o'clock last night. I honestly did. And I went to sleep, and I ended up waking up. I woke up probably about 3 or 4 times late at night. And it wasn't like because I was restless or anything. It was just like it was something like saying, you need to get up, something something is going on or something like that. So come to find out, like the last time I woke up, before I actually like had to get up, I saw that my phone, my headset was still connected to my phone. So what that would have did was it would have had my alarm going off in my headset and I wouldn't have heard it. So... Like I said, the last time I woke up, I was able to uh, disconnect my headset. So that's how I know I was tired, because that's the first thing I do. I should have known something was up, because like every night, I either watch, or it watches me. Either Godfather, Godfather 2, or Belly. And so, I must have, as soon as I turned it on, I must have instantly went out, because... I have it to where I can hear the mu the movie playing. And so, like, I remember, like, before I went to sleep, like, I never heard, like, the movie come on, but I never turned my head. And even, even like, when I rolled over, my phone just kind of fell and it hit me in the head. <laughs> it hit me in the head, and when I got, you know, but I just put it back up there. The movie's still playing now. And I'm not even paying attention like you cannot hear the sound. Like your headset's still connected, but I just went back to sleep. But uh but I got that situated. But even though, um so I set my alarm for like six thirty. So I got out the bed probably at six forty five, brush my teeth and stuff. Then I have a uh a morning accountability call that I get on at seven every morning. So after that call was over, uh, I went on pre-trip to everything, and then I I took off. So I actually I actually got here with probably about 28 minutes to spare because I know that, like I said, the last time I was over here, which was a long time ago, but sometimes I just kind of remember certain things. But I do remember you go when you get here, you go over a scale, and they want you to go ahead and untarp and everything like that. So I'm thinking like. I got untarped and then the lady came over here and she got me at like 10.40 to tell me to go back here and get unloaded. So I'm like, if I'd have got here like 10.28, 10.29, something like that, I wouldn't have been finished untarping and everything. You know, I wouldn't have been finished untarping and everything like that. So, you know, but my mindset was that they want you untarped and unstrapped before you even go to the back. So that was my mindset coming over here. So sometimes I guess, you know, it, it pays to go somewhere you know, it pays to go there often, but it also pays that if you do go there, maybe one or, like one time, like try to remember the setup because you just never know when you'll go back again. It's kind of like uh, my buddy was talking to me yesterday. He was in Medicine Lodge, um, Kansas, and he was talking about this uh, paper factory he went to. And I was kind of, I was kind of thinking. He said like, yeah, I seen like a, a bunch of TMC trucks over there, and I was like. Oh, okay. I did go over there one time before because I think like Medicine Lodge, that's like where uh, either Medicine Lodge or somewhere close to that, like Decker, like that's like where their, uh, like that's where their headquarters is at because I remember I went to the paper place and I think I went down the road and I saw like that, hit, like that main terminal over there. So I said, okay, yeah, I remember being there, but I don't, I vaguely remember the setup because like we went over there and got like preloaded trailers, I, I want to say. The one time that I did go over there. So, it's always good. But, um, I gotta go by the, 
<clears throat> I gotta go by the terminal and get my IFTA and get my IFTA uh That sucks. Well, I guess it don't. I don't know. But uh, I gotta go back and get my IFTA, get my IFTA sticker because I thought they, um, I thought they mailed them out, but but they didn't. So I go back and get my IFTA sticker, and then I'm heading over here to get a, um, to get some pipe. It's going up around <clears throat> Cincinnati, Baftavia or something. Yeah, so I picked it up and I'm gonna head to the house. Call it a day. I don't know what I'm gonna eat today. I don't know. Kinda want some seafood. I got some red snapper that I've been meaning to grill, but I ain't gonna grill it this weekend. I'm probably going to uh I probably grill probably boil some shrimp or grill some shrimp or something like that that I got. And I was gonna, you know, fill it with this truck, try to get this oil filter off, but Earlier in the week, my uh, my cousin texted me, asked me, was I busy this weekend? Could he come by, you know, come hang out and stuff like that? Because he's younger than me. I was like, sure, you know, sure, no problem. So, um, I get it, uh, I get it squared away. Then, plus, uh, I think my father-in-law, he was going out of town, so. Because he had, like, all the tools and stuff. Because I think we just going to have to end up loosening it up. And uh, and just cutting it, just cutting the filter on both sides, and kind of wet, kind of wedge it off. And then when I wedge it off, get like a uh, a monkey wrench or something like that, and probably just try to twist that um, twist that boat out of there and, and replace it because all the videos that I've seen on YouTube, like these are like this is for cars and stuff like this. But I see that even on the on the oil filter in the truck. The nut that goes in there, um, they sell that replacement part. So that that boat itself is like forty five, like it's forty five dollars, forty five dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get that and um, put some of that red Loctite. That's what they said. Put like some red Loctite on it and like twist it back off in there, and then uh, that'll be straight. And I'm gonna be honest, man. That kind of it kind of made me second guess getting, you know what I'm saying, oil changes and stuff now because, like I said, I, I had to get the whole fuel filter set up, and then I had to get, now I'm having to get this. But obviously, I, I think the base is all right because if I had to take the whole base off, like I said, I was looking at it, and it, uh, man, like you just have to, man, like you just got to take a whole bunch of stuff off of it, man. And I'm hoping that just the boat, you know, will remedy the issue or whatever. So when we get it off, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to put the boat in there and we're just going to go on and uh, change the oil. So I think, <clears throat> I want to say, I think I spent, this was last year when I changed it last year. I uh, I think I got 12K, I got 12 gallons of it from Sam's Club because Sam's Club had a Shell Rotella. And I think I, I think it was close to like, it was like three something. Like I think it may have been like three twelve or something like that. So, and then this cooling filter that I got on here, I need to go ahead. I need to change that. I need to look at that too, and change the cooling filter. And uh, I need to get, <clears throat> I need to change my oil. I need to change my air filters, all that stuff like that. And then um, like my rear end and stuff like that. So like the week that I'm off, I'm gonna do my rear ends, I'm gonna do my um air filters, I'm gonna bathe, I'm gonna bathe my uh my wheel, my wheel seals on the front of the truck. Um you know, like I said, I'm gonna change the oil and everything that we can grease, you know, and get it greased down. And um do all that, but like I said, it's for the air filters and switching out the rear ends. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get all that done too. Cause I wanna say that synthetic stuff we bought, we got it from uh, Trucker Supply. I forgot how much that stuff was, but I know I went to um, I went to the shop and we were asking them, you know, how much they charge for a rear end. 
I think, man, them folks trying to charge me, man. They were trying to charge to 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 drain and put more fluid in the rear. I mean, obviously, you had to buy the fluid and stuff like that, obviously. But, like, when you add in the labor costs, man, it was almost like, man, y'all charging me, like, I can't even remember how much it was, but I was like, nah, man, we'll just do it ourselves because, I mean, you just, you just drain it, you know, you just draining it out. But, um, but like, my front rear end, they got a stud on the top of it. <clears throat> I mean, it looked like they jimmy rigged it to get it to stay on there. So, which, that's the stud you're supposed to pour it in. So, what we did was we just loosened up the, um, the bolt kind of over to the side, and we just poured it in there. And I think, I forgot how many it takes. But anyway, it's two jugs, so, or two, or two barrels. So both of the ends are gonna take both of the barrels. So ain't no sense in trying to say, oh, okay, we need this, like, nah, just get both of them. And I think they said the synthetic lasts long. I think it said it was, it's probably good for like 165, 170,000 miles. But I just said, man, I'll just change it annually, man, and just, and just be done with it. Ain't no sense in me sitting here count. I mean, obviously you may have a meticulous person that say, um, I changed it at this many miles. So I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna do it at this many miles, but I ain't even gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and just, just say annually because I got the truck. Yeah, cause I, yeah, cause I mean, actually it is annual because I got the truck in February last year. So, so yeah, it would, it technically would be like a year on the dot. Almost, because I think I got this truck the 20, I want to say I got this truck the 26th, I want to say. It wasn't March yet. I think I got this truck on the 26th of February, or, some, or somewhere like that. But in any, but <clears throat> in any regard, I'm just going to do it like this. So, live February every year, be time for the rear end and air filters and all that stuff like that. Even though I think you should probably should change the air filters out on the, on the, on a better interval than that, but I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch them out. So I'm gonna get all that, get all that stuff situated. So, um, so like, I know this week, barring anything uncharacteristic happening, I know this week will probably be, uh, it'll be straight once I get everything situated. And so next week, hopefully that'll be straight. So. So those two weeks like that, that'd be straight. So when it's time, so like I said, when I take that week off, I'd be good because I ain't really got nothing. Uh, I ain't got nothing to do, and maybe, <clears throat> um, possibly that Saturday or something, I can go ahead and Sunday I can head up to like um, maybe like Columbus or some Columbus, Mississippi, or somewhere like that and pick up something on Sunday and uh and take off from there. So um you know let it work out. Cause I know one week I picked up something. I picked up a car man. I call I think man I thought that low paid like thirty five hundred dollars man. I think it paid like thirty five hundred dollars to go up to like Howie, Michigan or something like that. And I was like that's love right there, man. I, yeah, I'll take that. I'll jump on that. You know? Because, like, Michigan is kind of straight. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? You got the weather. 